how to rank your videos. If you can rank your videos for keywords in your niche, you can get search traffic from YouTube and even Google's search engine. Getting quality search traffic to your videos starts with picking uh, the right keywords to use. You don't want to spend a ton of effort competing for a highly competitive keyword and have your video sit on page 73. You want to pick a keyword that you can be on page 1 for. I suggest trying to rank for the easiest keywords at first and work your way into more competitive keywords as you get good at ranking your videos. So here is my method to find the perfect YouTube keywords to target for your videos. Download and open Market Samurai, a keyword and SEO tool you can get a free trial for. Uh, if you purchase it before the trial ends, you can get a discount. Um, but even if the trial does end and you don't purchase it, the keyword tool part of the pro software still works. So open that up, hit new keyword, type in your keyword idea. Then you want to click on hit keyword research. Then you want to click on generate keywords. And then you want to click on, uh, basically this is going to take a minute to load some uh, more keyword ideas for you. Once that's been generated, you can hit keyword analysis to analyze the keywords it just brought up. You can, it's going to show you, um, it's going to recommend using their golden keywords filter, or you can tweak the filter settings and save your own. Once you have your filter picked, you can hit analyze the keywords. It's going to knock out all the keywords that don't fit within the filter. It's going to find your best keywords. Export these keywords. Um, then search inside of YouTube uh, in their search bar, but use quotations for the keywords that you ended up with. This is so you can see how many people are targeting this keyword phrase. You want to find keywords that are about 500 and less results in quotations. Not in quotations, you're going to be more because it's, it's a broad phrase. But when you're using quotations in your keyword phrase, that means people are targeting that phrase. That's how you know who your competition is. Um, so you want to start at under 500 for your keyword in quotations for a phrase match. Um, and then once you've found a good one you can use the related keywords from your exported file as secondary keywords in the description and tags. So if these related keywords were a little more competitive that's okay use them in your description and tags. Now we have our keywords. It is best to have your keyword then create a video on that topic so the video is actually about what the keyword title says it is and when you say out loud in your video your keywords YouTube will actually pick up on that that the, that the video is actually about the keywords you say it is and it will help with your rankings when you're done editing your video save it as your keyword mp4 when you upload it to YouTube the file is named the primary keyword helping you to better understand what the video is about as it's uploading you're going to be able to add a title, tag, description. So when you're giving your YouTube video a title, include your keyword in the title so it helps rank, but also make sure it's appealing to the viewers. So if your keyword is ab workouts for men, then your keyword title could be seven ab workouts for men, uh, just seven minutes a day. That's more appealing than just ab workouts for men. So you want to think of something that people are going to want to click on. Um, while your video is uploading and being processed, you want to optimize your description. If your keyword was ab workouts for men, it could start like start like this. I like to keep the keyword and my call to action link uh, above the show more. If you're ever watching a video and you can see a sh small little description and then show more, which includes the rest of the description, you want to make sure you have your keyword and your link above the show more. So it could just be want to learn more ab workouts for men question and then your website now you have your keyword and your call to action above the show more below the show more I like to include a mini article which is more or less a summary of the video including important points and keywords at the end I include another call to action link open the exported keyword list you got from the market samurai include these keywords in your tags for your video put entire keyword phrases in quotations like 
quotation, ab workouts for men, quotation. Quotation, lose belly fat, quotation. Quotation, how to use, how to get six pack abs, quotation. If you don't include quotations, it's going to separate each word as its own keyword. You don't want that. You want to target key phrases, keep the key phrases in quotations when you're including your tags. When you're writing your descriptions, you don't need to put them in quotations. Just for your tags. How many tags are appropriate, you might wonder. As long as your video is actually about the keywords you include, you could use as many that you're allowed to fit. They max out a certain amount of characters, so as many as you're allowed to fit. Do not try and trick YouTube using different um, video keywords that just don't match up with your video. Also be sure to include single and plural keyword phrases such as um, ab workout and ab workouts. Your channel authority is going to play a part when you put up a new video to how well it ranks. So if your channel is consistently putting up good content and viewers are engaging with your video, videos such as watching it to the end of the video and leaving a comment, liking it, sharing it, embedding it, those are the type of things that help rank your videos. Um, as well as any new ones that you put up. So your entire channel plays an important part uh, for your video marketing and ranking your videos so don't ever think of it as just one-off videos. This is a strategy that you want to um, do consistently not just one video and hope for the best. You also want to write out a transcript for your video because YouTube does have a transcribing but a like service for your video and it will add a transcription to what it thinks you're saying but they do a really bad job right now so they might not pick up the keywords that you're targeting that you would hope they would so take the time write out exactly what you're saying and you can upload your own transcription to the video and that's going to help your ranking again um, what about views feeding your video fake views hurt your video engagement and that's the kind of stuff that YouTube catches on to. Um, so if you're buying fake views and they, if it is someone getting you views and they click and they watch for a second and then they open a new thing and watch it again for one second, that's going to hurt your rankings real, like it's drastically. So don't buy views. Focus when you're creating your videos. Focus on audience retention because that's huge right now. If you can keep an audience, YouTube will favor your videos over any other video with those keywords. Um, another ranking factor is how many inbound links do you have? How many websites link to your video and channel? If you can share your video link on other social sites, you can get some links back to your video and hopefully more people will share it if it's good. You want to build backlinks naturally. So yes, backlinks are going to help your video, but again, don't buy a 500 backlink package and slam one video with it because that's not good and YouTube will catch on again and that will hurt your rankings. You want to naturally build backlinks to your videos and channel um, over time. If you, if you write a really good video description out, you could use that video description as an article, submit that, that article to article directories and link back to your video for another um, inbound link to your video. How many video embeds does your video have? Do you have other web property that you can embed your video on such as your blog or other people's blog if you can leave a guest blog? Uh, if you write out a description for your video maybe you can try guest blogging other people's blogs and embed your video and leave a description and that will help them if they're looking for content. Um, find forums where you can embed your embed your video and just find other social sites where you can embed your video that's going to help um, get your rankings up the more times your video has been embedded and the higher authority of the website where you're embedding it is going to help as well okay the last ranking factor that I want to talk about is video responses because this is actually kind of the hardest one to get if someone goes through the effort of leaving a video response this is very good for your video to rank higher um, in your YouTube video settings make sure you allow video responses either all or be sure to check your account and approve them as people leave video responses so if you're um, 
if you're leaving a call to action in your video for people to leave a video response, be sure to get back timely for your new videos to approve any video responses or just set it to automatic. One way to get video responses is having a group of people in your niche that you mastermind with and you can leave video responses for each other's videos. Um, that's one way. Obviously, the way is to encourage your audience to leave one. Um, who do I like? Uh, there's these guys on YouTube. You can search for them called Five Minute Video Marketing. Um, a, they'll teach you some cool video marketing stuff, and B, they really engage their audience. They ask them to leave a video response with part of the lesson they learned each week, and they feature clips of the video responses in the next video. This really engages your audience, and if you can do that, that's really cool because people want to see themselves in your video. Um, so that's a really great way to engage your audience and get more video responses. Um, if you can hold contests for the best video response um, and give away a prize, that will help. When you do encourage for video responses, let them know to include your keyword in their video response title. So if whatever the keyword of your video is, you can tell them to use that so that way you know which ones are part of the contest or whatever it is, but it's actually going to help you rank your video the more relevant the video response is to your video. So that's it for how to rank your videos. Um, be sure to go back to any videos that are already uploaded where you didn't implement any of these strategies in full and re-optimize your videos so that way you'll start getting more traffic to your older videos.